this. Hey guys, how are you? <clears throat> I'm waiting for people to come in. So as they're doing that, let me just send this out um, so that we can get some ones up in here. I know it's late. I'm just doing my thing. Um, I'm always <laughs> doing stuff late up in here. But, um, yeah, your girl is just doing things, getting things done. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, did you check out, like, some of the stuff I posted of my day today? I, um, uh, uh went to my nephew's um, I went to my nephew's um, football game and that was super super fun and I had a good time with that um, and so I had posted I did a reel so check out the reel because it's really, really cool. A little, you know, all we do is win <laughs> because he did win. He did put in work today and I was super proud of him. Um, and it was a great day. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I did send you your Reiki <clears throat> just to let you know. I did send it. It was a little late. But I did send it. I think I sent it around instead of eight o'clock. It was nine o'clock my time. Um, but I did send it. Uh, so you're all set with continuous healing. Um, uh, I'm trying to write down a book. Hold on one second. Uh, what does that say? Your girl is blind. Okay. Hello, Monet. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm going to be talking about spiritual protection. What is spiritual protection? Um, and I'm going to be doing some announcements. So uh, really quickly. Um, hold on one second. Let me just get this. A book that I got to get. Um, I took a nap, uh, when I got in today, like, I didn't realize how exhausted I was. Your girl was exhausted, like, really, really exhausted, and, um, I couldn't believe, like, I totally, like, wiped out, like, I slept on my yoga mat, okay, on the floor, knocked out in my hoodie, slept on my yoga mat it's quite comfortable though i have to say like my yoga mat i'm glad i invested in that it's quite comfortable um it reminds me of like a like the cushiony of like a sleeping bag so really really cool hello infinite dope <laughs> hi i like your name Welcome, welcome. So for those that are coming in, please invite others because this is going to be an important topic. Um, what is spiritual protection? What is spiritual protection? And um, I see I'm going to have to put something here so that uh, we can not be disturbed with that. Let me grab my other phone. 
Um, so I'm just going to pull this up really quickly. Uh, and then I'll do a proper um, uh, introduction and with announcements and everything. Um, so um, gather around. You may take some notes. Um, I wanted to do this earlier today, but uh, my my schedule has been really, really busy and I'm trying to get a lot of things done. Um, and if you guys know, like sometimes getting stuff done is like, you know, can be a lot on the plate. Um, to do. Where is it? I am trying to find, where did I put it? Uh, I think I, 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 from here, there's something here that I, that I saw. Um, um, hold on. Um, mine's racing as always. My mind races. Um. I always like to get uh, definitions. So let me just grab this definition. Here we go. Okay. So welcome, guys. For those that's going to watch this uh, later on, I know it's late. And I know like a whole bunch of people are doing so many things. It's Saturday, Saturday night. Um, and it's in the evening. And so, um, but for those that are up, Welcome, welcome. I am Najin Fusaya Lee. Invite five other people to this live. Go ahead, invite. Just use the airplane right down here and invite friends, family, followers, whoever you want to invite um, that will benefit from this topic tonight. Um, for those that are new, I am Najin Fusaya Lee. I am a spiritual life coach, health wellness consultant. Um, I'm an intuitive reader, Reiki master, and I am the author of a great book. Um, and it's one of the top ones in the category of anxiety called Kill Anxiety, Live Immensely. And uh, it's basically conquering the illusions we believe when we are anxious. You know, we are dismantling the table, dismantling all the illusions in order to reclaim back your power and to live in the now moment and live in your truth. And this is so empowering for your being. And so, hello, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. So, uh, my book is available everywhere books are sold, but right now it is on my new bookstore, my new store, which is the Najam Lee's Healing Shop.com. Again, it's Najam Lee's Healing Shop.com. And all you got to do is click the link in my bio and uh, it will take you over to the shop. Again, you can click the link in my bio, NajamLeesHealingShop.com. You can also follow us um, right here or follow the store actually right here on uh, Instagram, which is NL uh, Healing Shop. And I'm going to put this here for you guys. NL Healing Shop. Hello, Kitchen Rasta. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you guys are here. So I really want to talk about this because um, there's a lot going on if you see the title and we're going to get into it. Um, so for those that are new, check out. I do teach spiritual um, spiritual classes over at Spiritual Sessions Academy on teachable.com. Uh, again, that's uh, Spiritual Sessions Academy. You can always DM me at Najam Lee right, right here to learn more about that. Um, I'm starting up new classes. One of those new classes is the Meditation Workshop. Actually, we are starting up tomorrow with our first live meditation in Zoom. So just go over to Spiritual Sessions Academy. I'm going to um, put it right here for those that are in here. And I will do my best to remember uh, to put it 
down below um, as well. So spiritual sessions, spiritual sessions academy. There you go. There's a short link, and um, let me just pin it for you guys. Uh, we are doing the meditation workshop now. This is different from my um, pre-recorded guided meditation classes. Uh, the pre-recorded guided meditation classes, as it says, is pre-recorded. Um, so you can go in and it's like day one through day 30, um, like so many and extras that are posted in there that you can actually take advantage of and practice meditation. And it's a guided meditation that you can utilize any time of the day that you need it. So once you sign up and you go there um, in the course section, you will see all live uh, pre-recorded meditations that I've done and um, they're really really exceptional now the meditation workshop is basically you go live with me you're not only you all uh, speak <laughs> you're not only getting pre-recorded as well but also I'm going to be recording these particular classes and you will be live with me in zoom and so that's where we will be and it's every Sunday 11 a.m um, come in because this is going to be an intensive practice and this intensive practice is needed if you're on your spiritual journey if you want to know and understand how to spiritually protect yourself. Um, if you want to heal your body, heal your mind, heal your emotions. If you want to um, live in tranquility and so forth, like so much more. Meditation is the spot. Meditation is the platform, the foundation you need to spring forward and leap in your life. Leap I mean, bounds and bounds and boundaries. And um, so definitely go check it out. There's the link posted bit.ly slash spiritual sessions academy. Again, that's bit.ly slash spiritual sessions academy. Okay, guys. So go check that out. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you doing. If you're feeling iry, <laughs> if you're feeling good, thank you for the hearts. Yay. Um, so that with that out of the way um, and go check out the shop. I am so proud of the shop and that is Najumli's healing shop.com. And I'm going to post it here for you guys as well. Najamli's healing shop.com. Thank you, Andrea. Um, we have, I'm telling you, we have so many good products, Lux Healing and Lux Protection products. And the main focus of the shop is healing and protection. On this earth plane that we live on, those are the two things you need: healing and protection. If you want to live, you want to survive, you want to thrive healing and protection. You got to have those two equipment or those tools in order to really move smoothly upon the earth plane. Without it, you're going to have hiccups, situations, and so much more. It's like added situations. And so I wanted the shop to be a main focus things that will absolutely benefit you. I don't carry a lot of things. I carry only the essentials. And so you have incense, you have crystals, um, you have um, the books and a lot more rituals um, and so much more that's coming that I'm working on. Uh, so right now, those are the ones we have bundle kits, which I love the bundle kits. We have the love bug bundle kit. I love that one because the scents in that there are three rope um, incenses that come in the packet and other goodies that I like to put in there for the love bug, uh, which helps with attracting more love into your life, more love into your space. When you smell um, the incenses when they're burning, so, oh my God, the rose rope 
incense is amazing. So you have a combination of the rope, uh, the rose rope. You have cedar rope, which is great for those that are on their spiritual journey. It is helping, clearing, and aligning you onto your spiritual journey, onto your spiritual purpose. Um, and you have patchouli. I love patchouli. <clears throat> I love me some patchouli. I think it's a patchouli or we got in a champa as well. Um, they interchange. And <clears throat> I am a sucker for patchouli. Ever since I was studying in Ayurveda school, I'm an Ayurvedic doctor, um, which means basically I'm a holistic doctor. And when I studied Ayurveda, I fell in love with um, uh, patchouli. I did like a bit of panchakarma and um, they had poured this beautiful mixture with sandalwood and patchouli oils all in my hair. Like it just caressed my hair and it lasted in my hair for weeks like weeks, I was walking around smelling like a goddess. I felt so rejuvenated, so alive, so healed. Like, and I was attracting the opposite to sex. Like it was going out of style. It was just like, yo, what's happening here? Um, so, uh, the love bug creates that spacing for you of, you know, creating love in your environment. You, we don't think about that creating love in our spaces, right? If you're at your desk, create love. If you're in the kitchen, create love. If you're taking a shower, create love. If you're in your room, your bedroom, whatever it is, create love. That love frequency. So go get it. You got to go pick it out. Right now, it's the love bug bundle. The other bundle we have is the meditation bundle, which is phenomenal. Oh my God. You got to go get it. Um if you're doing meditation, especially if you're going to be doing the meditation workshop or the guided meditation pre-recorded classes, either way, you like that sucker, it's over, it's done, it's 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 amazing. Um, and uh, we have the Kill Anxiety Bundle Kit. Uh, we're getting people ordering those, so I'm so excited. Uh, that helps with anxiety, stress, depression, if you're feeling suicidal, PTSD, OCD, social anxiety, um, um, social anxiety, um, or you're going through whatever it is, any type. You got to get the kit. Uh, so I like bundles. I like creating. And more bundles are coming. I have one for the P-U-S-S-Y. P-U-S-S-Y. I have one coming for the P-U-S-S-Y. Because we got to create some love and found um, groundation and healing. I One thing about us women, we uh, hold trauma in our first chakra, like it's going out of style. Like everything is there, weighted, sitting, wants to release. How do you release this? I'm bringing something beautiful to you guys. It's coming and our goal is to have it ready by um, Black Friday of in November. Um, hopefully by November 1st, it should be launch um so i'm not going to say what it is yet or whatever but it is coming and um, just working and tweaking things and stuff so a lot is going on and uh yeah so much more so go check out the shop com. the link is in my bio as well com. all right i think that's all the announcements um, if you want to learn more about what I do, go over to najamlee.com. If you want to know what I offer uh, as spiritual life coaching, 
have two programs, Turn Your Life Up, um, which is a six-month and 12-month program. And I also have the Platinum Life. And it is amazing. That is a 12- and 24-month program. And this is all about your mind, body, spirit, emotion, how to live in your truth, how to step in your voice, how to be who you are. Love secrets. Hey, <laughs> hello, La Paz. And really aligning, okay? You have definitely, for those that have taken my uh, my um, spiritual life coaching program, let them know in the comment section how your journey was or has been whether you're current or past, let uh, other people know because having a coach changes your life. I can second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth that, okay? Having a coach changes your life, okay? So look into it more, all right? Check out najumlee.com. We'll offer a... Um, a free coaching call. I love doing those. They're like 20 minutes. So for me to understand where you are and also if I'm the perfect match for you and if you're the per perfect match for me and vice versa and what direction you desire to go in your life. All right, guys. So with that being said, Da, 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 da. Let's get into the topic. What is spiritual protection? Now, this is a um, a ritual that we do, and uh, we're going to be doing it again next Saturday. So put that on your calendar. That is October second. Uh, that we're going to be doing um, the spiritual protection ritual. And so this is really important. One of the things that I have learned in this life is that protection is needed. And so I'm going to get you guys um, two things. One is uh, the definition. So let's really look into the definition of this. Um, so spiritual. I like to at least give a dictionary type of thing. And spiritual can go beyond this. But spiritual, according to dictionary.com, is relating to or affecting the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. Okay? Um, and so relating, number two, relating to religion or religious belief. But not really. Um it can is always associated with a uh, religious belief, but when you're really into the spiritual, there is no other system actually. The spirit is a free being, right? So as a free being, you're having a human experience. So as a human, right, maybe you have chosen to experience something of a spiritual connection through a type of religion. So it could be Christianity, Catholicism, Islam, uh, Buddhism, whatever it is, right? But in the spiritual itself, there is actually no system. It is just the energy wanting an experience. That is it. Hey, Lopaz, you should do this on IG and CH. Ooh, Yes, I second that. <laughs> um, so now that we have the word spiritual, let's look at what protection is, right? Um, and so why do we do this? It's like, Naj, why are we looking up uh, words? This is how we get a foundation, Right, we need a foundation of understanding the words we are using and the words we are putting together. Protection, as a noun, is the action of protecting or the state of being protected. Right, a person or thing that prevents someone. Hello, Lou. Hello, Louis. Um, a person or thing that prevents someone or something from suffering harm 
or injury, right? Um, it can also be a document guaranteeing immunity from harm to the person specified in that document um, uh, and so forth, right? So um, ab, uh, the origin of protection is coming from the late Latin protege. Jere, and then um, it came down to protectio, and then into the old old French into the New English protect, um, and so spiritual protection is protecting the spirit, right? The spirit that is having an experience as a human being. That's basically what this is. Spiritual protection is protection of the spirit that's having a human experience, right? That is utilizing a vessel on this earth plane or on this planet that we live on, right? So if we really look um, on this planet, there's so many things that can endanger us, right? From the moment we step into our home and from the moment we step out of our home. That could be anything, right? It could be someone trying to um, break into your home. That can be very dangerous, right? Um, That could be coming coming outside and a stray bullet hits you, boom. Or you fall down, break your leg, break your back. Um, Or uh, it could be um, get into your car and not able to come back home. Maybe your car breaks down, right? Or you get to work, and but the moment you step out your car, boom, you probably fell down or got hit, run over. You don't know what it is, right? Um, it could be stepping onto a plane, plane crashes, right? Or, or whatever. And um, sorry about that. Or it could be, Anything, literally anything that uh, can put you in danger, anything, anything whatsoever. The thing is, we're not mindful, right? The thing is, we are not mindful of what is going on. We are not um, looking at it at some point in our life, right? We just, okay, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. But we have unseen forces at play, right? Why? Because we got to get back to the spiritual part of spiritual protection. In the word spiritual, there is the word spirit. That means there is an energy, right? There's a being. This particular type of being is moving and working and doing things Um, onto the earth plane. That means there are unseen forces going on around it, right? Um, There are ones that want your energy. So through adjectives, we can look at jealousy, envy, hatred, dislike, um, whatever it is, right? In that perspective, those type of arrows directed at you, you know, are coming You may not notice it at first, but your spirit notices it first before it trickles down and manifests and shows up into your physical, okay? So who is affected first? Your spirit. Your spirit feels it, pow, 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 whatever it is. It could be words, um, especially words, okay, because words um manifest into and or solidify oneself um and so with that it is very important that we have spiritual protection on this earth plane pa can you pa don't don't do anything right i'm recording thank you um so with that it's really important that we have um, spiritual protection. Now, I know the question would be, well, how do we get spiritual protection? Like, how does this even work? Is it like 
praying to something or asking something or what if I don't believe in there's a higher power or whatever. No, 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 no. We're not even even looking in that direction because it's not about an outside sources. This is about an inward source, right? This inner, inner place here within yourself, okay? And so this is learning how to tap in. You know, just like that song um, by my girl, by my girl, Sawitee, tap in. I literally use that particular phrase and tap in into yourself. And so I'm going to talk more about that um, and how utilizing um, certain rituals or certain practices and helping you to tap into that source is really, really important to um, creating that field or shield of protection around you, around your loved ones. And if you didn't know, I do teach this um, in a program called, it's a workshop called Om Sacred Circle of Protection. Om, O-M, Sacred Circle of Protection. And this is also available at, uh, also available at bit.ly slash spiritual sessions academy. So make sure you write that down bit.ly slash spiritual sessions academy. And I'm super excited about that. So I'm going to be um, putting together a live um, workshop soon on the own sacred circle of protection because we are um, there's some things that we've added in and have elevated this shield uh, which is really really important to know really, really important to know how to activate it and to utilize it on a daily basis and um, the whole point is to understand that you have the power to do the things yourself, right? Instead of sitting back and relying on other people or um, other things to um, do it for you when you have all the skills, all the knowledge uh, within you is just learning how to tap in and access it. So let's continue. So Spiritual protection has nothing to do with your religion or belief or whatever. It has nothing to do with that because we can look at it from science. In order for you to be speaking, moving, talking, um, getting up in the morning, having an opinion, um, taking in information or whatever, uh, it shows that there's a spiritual or an energy that you are working with within yourself. That is all energy. Energy expands. Energy um, goes out and in, up and down, right? It can go in different ways. It can move like a wave. It can spin. It can do whatever, right? Of pulling energy, pulling more energy to it, or releasing as much energy as possible from it. This is a power that you carry, Every single day of your life. This is what you carry, right? It's not some outside forces or whatever. This is what you have. And so I really want you to understand the power of spiritual protection. This is why I do with my sister every single Saturday um, a ritual. And so the focus right now is spiritual protection because of all the outside things that's going on from the 19, I'll call it like that, from the 19 to um, uh, wars to um, your neighbor to whatever's going on to the division, all these things that affect the experience that you're having as a human um, affects you in a very, very big way, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So understanding that you can stop all that within your being and create a shield of protection around you at any moment and knowing that it is up, it is around you, it is shielded. And that you can move through this world undetected, 
right basically uh, unscathed you know um, from anything is very powerful and the I will say elites or the creators of this particular realm we're in this is the main thing they have pulled back so that you don't know this and my whole thing is is to tap into you and say you do know and you do have it is that you don't remember that is all you don't remember you have the power to protect yourself from a lot of the things that are happening in your life and around your life on a daily basis you have the power it's learning how to access that power is what's missing and so um I want you to understand that spiritual protection is basically protecting the spirit who is having a human experience in a vessel, right? This vessel, this body, right, that you created, right? You created it. You created your vessel. And you can continue to create it. You can slim it down. You can make it bigger. You know, you can, you know, contour it. You can do whatever. You have the power. And you've been doing it. You can actually utilize energy to carve your form. It's nothing but energy. And how to do that is within you. And I show you how to do that. I teach that, um, especially in my own Sacred Circle of Protection uh, workshop. Um, so let's talk about, like, why this is important. Okay, guys, let me just grab a Gatorade real quick. Spiritual protection is understanding what to allow in and what not to allow in. What to allow into your frequency and what to remove or not allow into your frequency. The thing is we walk around so open, oblivious to what's around us. And take note of this, you've got to be more aware of what's around you. When you wake up or when you go to bed, what's around you? What is around you? I want you to take note of the energy around you. How do you know? When you go to bed, do you feel calm? Do you feel like, yes, I'm snuggled in. I feel good. I'm not nervous. I'm ready to sleep. Or do you feel kind of hesitant, feeling like, I know I can't sleep tonight. I don't know. I feel edgy. I feel like, you know, I can't close my eyes and you're hearing more things than usual. What's going on? Who's watching you? What's watching you? What's there? Because that means your spirit is seeing something way before you, the vessel, is seeing it. Right? And the thing is, the vessel needs to listen to the spirit within it. And that's key number one. Listening to the tapping, right, that's happening with you and your spirit. We don't listen. That's a problem. We are so stubborn when it comes to listening. We don't listen. We don't listen to our own being, our own spirit. We don't. It will give warning after warning. But at some point, it's going to step aside because you ain't listening. And it's going to be like, maybe this is what you 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 need. And maybe that's what it does. So it'll be like, all right. But it does. If there's something going to be happening or something, there's always a nudge. Always a soft nudge. A whisper or a weird, like, indication of something right that first weird indication it's subtle that is what you need to listen to immediately why am i feeling that you gotta get up gotta look why am i why am i feeling that 
what's going on? You got to tap in what happened five minutes ago. Because your spirit has seen this and picked it up maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes ago. Right? Oblivious to you, the being, doing your thing. Right? So when you get that nudge or that soft, subtle weirdness, that means something happened five minutes ago. What took place? You got to ask the question. What just happened? Reveal it to me. Show me. What happened five minutes ago? I'm oblivious. What happened? Show me what happened five minutes ago. <clears throat> right? Because the answer is there. The answer is there. The thing is we are refusing to slow down and look for that answer. That is the issue. We don't want to listen and we don't want to act. So we go into this mode of scared stiff moment, okay, where we don't do anything. And then shit hits the fan, right? Something happens. But if we just took a moment to be, wait, I just felt something or whatever, let me look into this, removing your fears, remove it because this is your own spirit talking to you. But we are afraid of our own spirit. A lot of people are, are afraid of listening to that spirit. Why? This has nothing to do with your religion. This has nothing to do with it because each being is equipped when they are born here. You are equipped with everything. You learn about religion once you get here. But before that, you weren't about any religion. It was you and your spirit. That's it. Okay? <clears throat> you and your spirit. And, you know, your guides, your, uh, maybe your ancestors or whatever. But essentially, I'm looking at the base. The base is you and your spirit. That's it. You and your spirit. So, you cannot be afraid of your own self. <clears throat> you got to check that. Why am I afraid of my own self? What is there? What's going on that I'm afraid of my own self? Because then we have to question, what has been feeding you with this information? Right? Spiritual protection is also about protecting you by being eaten spiritually. You ever heard of like vampires eating you, sucking on your energy, you know, um, things that are being put out into the airways for you to release more energy so that there's a feeding that goes on. So I'm going to give you a big picture Right. One of these big pictures are, you know, we see police brutality, right, <clears throat> visually. One of them was, what, Trayvon Martin. Um, uh, there's so many others. There's a lot. We, we know who they are, right? And what happens? Listen to your body. What happens when you see these visuals? There's a stirring of energy that happens. Right, and you're getting hotter, right? You're getting more angrier, right? You're in shock, and all these different things, and all these emotions. And then what happens is there's a big poof, release that your body does, it pushes it out, right? Who's standing in front of you receiving that energy, receiving? those emotions, right? I want you to look, question these things because you are surrounded by unseen forces who feed off of emotional energy. I'm going to say that again. There are beings that feed off of emotional energy. 
and they create situations for you to feed, for them to feed off of that. So this is why spiritual protection is so important because when they're feeding off of your energy, they're feeding off of your spirit because your spirit is what? Energy, consciousness, energy, right? Where you feel like you got a headache, you feel kind of drained, you feel kind of like, oh my God, like I went through a whirlwind just by watching whatever it is on TV. So then imagine watching that over and over and over and over again. Imagine now we have the media, the news, repeating those images over and over and over and keeping the energy going and, oh my God, and you're releasing, 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 and those beings are right in front of you going like this. (sighs) Taking it all in, right? And then it's even crazier when there are ones who are releasing so much that there's a battle now. Oh, I want that one. No, I'm going to stand over there. I'm taking this one. This one's really, really giving a whole lot. Oh, my God, I am full, but I'm going to still take more, right? It's a feeding. You are food. You are on the food chain. You are food to certain energies, certain entities, okay, certain beings. You are food. You are created to be eaten, okay? So you get learn about psychic attack, vampiric attack, you know. Um, this is real. So you on this earth plane need to protect yourself you need to spiritually protect yourself from allowing or being just a walking open vessel to these entities who are eating you daily they're being fed when you worship Anything outside of yourself, you're feeding them. And I say it again. When you worship or pray to anything outside of yourself, you're feeding them. Right? You have let your shield down, your protection down, and you're just giving And this is a cycle, cycle, so that when you die, they need your energy still. So they're at the gate, literally, when you're on your deathbed. You're surrounded by also loved ones, or some people are not. Um, It all depends on your life. It all depends on what was going on. I don't know. But there are ones who are waiting, waiting. To tell you to come back here. Right? So they will have loved ones or ones who are imitating as loved ones. Right? To say, hey baby, come here. Come to the light. Come to the light. Come come this way. Come this way. I'll show you how. I'll show you. Right? It's a trap that will take you right back here into another body. Okay? Don't be going to no light. I've been saying this for years. This is nothing new. Um, But it all comes around, right, of spiritual protection. Don't be going to no light. When you pass, go chill for a little bit. Chill. Okay? Go the other way. All right? Don't go to that light. They're going to taunt you with that for a little bit. Like, come this way, come this way, come this way. You know, come this way. Oh, hell no. I ain't going that way. I, I I need to see where I'm at. I need to understand what's going on first. Let me adjust my settings as a spiritual being 
before I make another move. And you know, that's not taught. <laughs> that's not taught. You know, when you cross over, there's 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 um a few on the earth plane and I'm learning this. I'm I'm learning this and I've like um stepped into wanting to learn this even more of how to help those when they're about to transition because there are not a lot of people at all on the globe that does this work and I've met only a couple people I was matter of fact only met so far one one main one that teaches it and um and learning from this person and i'm hoping well not hoping i will knowingly i will be working with this person to learn more. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's really important to know what to do when you're transitioning right can't leave you hanging we know what to do when we're given birth when we're bringing it being here, right? We do all kind of preparation, all kind of stuff. But when we're transitioning, we don't know shit. We don't know anything. Nobody talks to us about that. Everybody's just scared to death. Like, oh my God, I don't want to talk about it. I don't even want to think about it. Uh 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 uh. But you need to talk about it. You need to know what to do when you're getting ready to transition from one vessel to another vessel or where you want to go, where you want to rise to, right? You have to, right? You you, you can't just be like, oh, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. And then you cycle back here and you be like, damn, what, what, why, why am I here? You know, you've got to really um, know and understand the preparation of transitioning and what to do. So I know I went a little off topic, but that's going to be coming <laughs> coming soon. I'll go into that more in another video because um, I find it fascinating, and I was so pulled and drawn. Like I felt like shoot, I I need to know this so I can help others. Right? I'm not good with bringing a child in, you know, with that stuff. Like that's not my calling. There are doulas who are excellent of knowing how to do that. Not me, right? But I felt like this pull, like, shoot, I'm the one who's going to be helping with the transitioning. Y'all need to know. And transitioning meaning I'm not at your, not being at your deathbed in that way. I want to get to you before so that you got notes, you got everything, you know what to do whenever that moment happens in your life, right? And you know how to, like, move to the next level. Move to the next place. Move on. Okay? All right. So spiritual protection is really, really important, right? Because you don't see what's out there, what's being plotted. You may have a plan, but then other things will (laughs) jeopardize your plan. So you are an open vessel here, unbeknownst to you. You are an open vessel that is surrounded by other beings that definitely want to either use your vessel, right? So we, what we call Klingons, right? Um, use your vessel, unbeknownst to you. Sometimes you'd be like, why am I feeling so upset or angry? Like, I was having a good day and then all of it changed. What's on you? Who came behind you? What's standing behind you, right? Who's using your vessel right now? Hmm? These are the questions to ask, right? Figure, you know? So, um, this is why on Saturday, so we're doing this next Saturday as well, spiritual protection uh, ritual. And in spiritual protection ritual, my sister and I do several different things. One of them, she handles the candle magic side. I do the incense magic side. And so it's like a one-two punch Um, And so really utilizing certain uh, mantras and wording and utilizing certain entities and spirits and so forth so that collectively, right, for all that who sign up 
collectively we do a protection and so this one i'm working on where it could be like um like two weeks of, of protection and then you can you know sign up again and do it again um and really surrounding you so that you can walk in your truth walk in your presence being secured and um, so that uh you can accomplish the things you need to do without the interruptions by other forces, so to speak. Um, so this is why it's so important. So I do have it up on um, NajamleesHealingShop.com. Sign up for it. Um, you want to be a part of this, right? You don't have to attend it live you don't have to because we understand people have their um their lives and stuff like that like definitely but what's important is getting your petition that's what's important for us so when you sign up i show you i'll send you the link if you want to attend the zoom live because we are in there on on zoom and we do it um but the most important is the petition. Hi, Pelagia. Um, we do the the petition. The petition is the essential part. So I send you how to write it, and you just send it back to me, and I place it with um, in the ritual on that day of. So it's Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern is when we start the ritual, Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. And so um, it's really, really important that uh, you sign up, get your spot now, don't wait, because everything is in the preparation. How you write your petition, and I am working on that from jump, so that by the time Saturday comes, it's like a bang. It's like a boom, 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 boom. And um, it helps. When I say it helps, it's strong. It's amazing. I create the incense from scratch. So I put a special combination. And very soon, those particular uh, incense combination I will have available on the shop. I'm just putting certain things together. And once I'm really for sure on things, then I'm going to be adding it to the shop so that you can use at home. So I have a mixture for spiritual protection and it's amazing, it's strong, it's powerful, it works. And uh, so it's a loose incense, all you need is charcoal and I sell the charcoal as well. And um, so it'll be like a, a, a little bundle of the spiritual protection incense powder and uh the charcoal and all you got to do is light the charcoal sprinkle a little spiritual protection magic and let that burn and it just covers you right beautifully you can use it for your friends your family um co-workers you can use it for the space so like before you know you start working you know, burn a little in your office, burn a little in your home, in your room, in your bathroom, wherever you want to, and you are creating a shield. And I love it. So especially before walking out the door, you are shielded, you are protected, um, and you can go drive. A lot of times I do it for my car. I will burn it in my car, shield up over my car. My car loves it. And uh, and it works. I've done it for other people. It works. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so, yeah, sign up uh, for the spiritual protection ritual. It's available now. The date, I think, has on the 18th um, for the 25th today. But don't worry about that. Just sign up. The date will change, uh, hopefully, by tomorrow um, to the next date, which is October second i think it is let me make sure so that i'm on point yep october 2nd 2021 so 
the new date will be there, but it's the same. So that's spiritual protection ritual. And it will be Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Let's get your protection on. You are on this earth plane. Do not be an empty vessel walking all lily-dally or whatever. Nah. You never wonder why, you know, for... You, you know, you ever wonder why, like, when people go out, like, why did that happen to that person? Like, what happened? What's going on? Why did they go through that? What is happening? There's a lot going on. A lot going on. Shield up. I always use that term, shield up, because you are not alone on this earth plane. You are a walking, talking energy. That means energy flows around you. That means there are other energies, right? You're not the only energy being here, okay? There are other energies, whether they're physical energies or uh, spiritual energies or, or uh, what would I say? No face beings, <laughs> right? <laughs> ETs or something like that, Um you know, we have to we have to see there's more going on, y'all. We can't just be stuck in like it's just us. Mm -mm, there's more going on, more going on, way more than you will ever know. So, I will be doing certain workshops real soon. It's going to be coming to Spiritual Sessions Academy, um, where I go even deeper into a lot of this. Um, the Om Sacred Circle of Protection workshop will be coming soon i will be announcing that really soon i'm hoping to get that done well i know that i'll have this done by uh october sometime uh we'll get the mid october if earlier i'll let you guys know um so that you guys can sign up you can get your save your seat and um be ready to rock and roll on that day for the Om Sacred Circle workshop. And also, too, um, in that workshop, it's a practical, so we will be doing things together. Like, it's not just a sit down, we're just talking. You gotta stand up, we gotta practice together so that you know how to do it. So, it's, it's a much more advanced, so um, there's certain additions and um, subtraction of things I've done so that uh, this 3.0 class will um, work really well for you guys. So uh, I've done a lot of practice and study, so I know this works. And um, so you guys just will be able to practice and do it for yourself with confidence and with power. And that's the most important, confidence and power. Once you know you can see it, um, that's what's up. I can see my shield like it's going out of style. Once I suit up and I see my shield, it's, let's go. We can do things, right? Because um, my shield, when I see it, it's really, really beautiful. It has a little glistening going on on it. Um, and... It's amazing. I just feel like, yo, I feel like a powered soldier and um, nothing can mess with me. Nothing at all. Nothing. Uh, try ain't work. They get fucked up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, nothing can mess with me. Um, and I'm very confident in that. Very, very confident. Uh, so that's how I know, like, the shield works. Um, spiritual protection works and knowing how to use it tap into yourself activate it and use it is essential all right so the ritual helps for those who don't know especially you're not there yet I do it for you me and my sister and um, I do it a certain way so collectively you're straight you're so straight not have to worry about shit 
for two weeks <laughs> right and you just suit up again um so if you have any questions please dm me i uh, would love to hear your feedback uh, learn more if you want to learn more about the spiritual life coaching program um, please dm me at najam lee and i would love to uh, set a time with you with a free coaching call and let's talk let's chat i would love to hear from you so i will leave all the information down below thank you so much for giving me a little time with you two tonight and for those that are going to watch, I can't wait. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you learned tonight from this video. And uh, I would love to do more videos like this. If you guys want it, let me know in the comment section below. All right. Love you guys. Have an awesome evening. Namaste. Nityanda.